Here are two things that will help you become more aware of how you are moving your feet as you walk. The first thing is to notice if you are stepping heel first or toe first when you walk. Now this might change throughout the day. If you're indoors wearing socks, you may step toe first more. And it's amazing how many people out in the world are walking toe first, more than you might expect. I had a dance student once and she would take one step heel first and the other step toe first and she didn't even realize it until I brought it to her attention. She would step heel, toe, heel, toe and this is how she was walking and she wasn't even aware and she was a dance student. So that is something to become aware of as you're moving around in your everyday life of which one you are stepping with first. The second thing is to think about your feet as sacks of bones. Each foot has 26 bones, and you can imagine that those bones are just tumbling side to side as you're moving, or forward and backwards. So think of a sack of potatoes. With that sack of potatoes, if you were to roll it side to side, then the potatoes would tumble side to side. And this is a wonderful feeling as you're stepping heel first. The bones are just tumbling down or if you're stepping toe first, the bones are tumbling down towards the ground. And this, I really enjoy feeling this as I am going upstairs. So as I am going up the stairs, I lift as my foot, my foot is just hanging like a sack of bones. And then as I step up, the sack of bones, the bones are tumbling to the ground. They're just tumbling to the ground. This feels so nice. Now you can train this sense of your bones tumbling. And we will work with this. I'm starting a slow Pilates class on Monday nights from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Zoom, starting Monday, April 3rd. And the first class is free. You can sign up in my bio. And we will work with things like this because, for example, let's say you're in this position and you take your knees to the side. Now, as you bring your knees back up towards the ceiling, you can enjoy the feeling of the sack of bones tumbling back down to the ground. The bones are tumbling back down to the ground. Now, a lot of times when we do this, people have a lot of ankle tension. And so they will bring their knees up and tense in the ankle. But if you really relax in the ankle and you leverage the weight through the side of the ankle, so I'm pushing through the side of the ankle, then I really feel all the bones of my foot tumbling back down to the ground when my knees are back up towards 